In this problem, it says find the weighted GPA based on the table below. So here in this table, it says that a student took these four classes, bio, chemistry, English, and algebra two. They were three credits, three credits, four credits, and four credits. And the grades he got were an A in bio, a B in chem, a B in English, and a C in algebra two, which corresponds to GPA of four, three, three, and two respectively. And based, that's, based on this, we got to find the weighted average. So to compute a weighted average, what you have to do is you have to take each value, which is our GPAs in this case, but we have to weigh them accordingly because here some grades are worth more than others. For example, this algebra two class is four credits, which means it has more weight than a three credit biology class. So here's how you do a weighted average. What you do is you multiply each value. Here's the GPAs and you multiply it by its weights, which in this case is the credits. And then you add up all those weighted values. And then what you do is you divide by the weights. So let's do this. So I'm just going to go uh, row by row for bio. We'll have three credits times a GPA of four because they got an A plus for chemistry is three credits times a three GPA because it got a B plus four times three for English plus four times two for algebra two. And then once we have the sum of all those weighted values, you divide by the weights, in which case the weights are the credits because we're weighing this by the credits. So these are all of our weights. So just add up all the credits. Three plus three plus four plus four. And then now we just need to compute this expression. So three plus three plus four plus four. If you do all that, you get that is equal to 14. And then let's just compute the top parts. Three times four is just 12. Three times three is just nine. Four times three is just 12. And four times two is just eight. Oops. And then 12 plus nine plus 12 plus eight is just 41. Give me a bit of time to erase this. And now 41 divided by 14. Okay, this fraction is kind of massive, so let me shrink it. Here we go. 41 divided by 14. If you do that, that's just going to be about 2.93. So this is our weighted GPA.